Hello friends and welcome to the MSC Maravilla. Today we are on board and going to take you through a top to bottom forward to aft ship tour here. Have a look. We're going to show you everywhere around so you can maximize your cruise vacation when you come on board knowing where things are, where are the best spots, hidden gems throughout the ship. Let's get started and show you everything that you need to know. Today we're stopping starting up high here on top 19. What is it? Who can come in? Let's get to it. And before I accidentally fall into one of these whirlpools, let me just tell you, there's a whirlpool up here. So top 19 is an exclusive area for Aria guests. Pretty cool that they get to hang out here. There's also sun beds and loungers that you can rent. And I will go ahead and show you guys the pricing list. There are some additional discounts as well after 3 p.m., which is pretty cool. So grab yourself a lounger, enjoy some of the views of the rest of the ship. And there's additionally a smoking section on this side as well. So here in top 19, you have the white towels and here's the prices for the solarium here on the sun deck. So all day, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. is $44.99. Afternoon from 3 p.m. significantly discounted. So if you want to come up for the afternoon, only $14.99. And then a promo of two for one sun bed, $24.99. Very nice. So how about it? All of these reclining loungers, it's all the way up on deck 19 here. And we accessed this through the aft elevators and this big whirlpool and moving on to the other side here, you can see these chairs with the seated, covered cushion seated couches. And then this section here is the smoking area. Now we just came from the quiet relaxation of top 19. Now we're gonna head over into Polar Aqua Park for a bit of some action. So you can see that all of the water spouts are running. A lot of fun here for different age groups here. For the youngest cruisers on board, this is going to be the area that they will want to play in i have to say this bucket actually tips quite a bit here it's really fast so get ready to get wet <laughs> and this is little slide this mini penguin slide as well and then note that there's the ropes course that goes around as well here so really kind of fun for the kiddos and then this area is a shallow pool that is all one level here so it's about a calf length for the adults i don't see a depth in here to tell you how deep it is but it is easy enough uh, that it's not too deep over here with the two different slides we have the bowl slide and the tube slide the tube slide can go single or double and you do have to go ahead and get wristbands for those so that way they know that you're tall enough and just sign the waiver for those big slides so additional seating here so if your family's enjoying the aqua park you can have your loungers perched up for the day check it out all the fun in the aqua park here really nice and it wraps around as well along the sides i will say remember to bring your towels that your stateroom host has for you in your room because there aren't any towel stations on this deck and don't be like me and make a mistake where you get off of the island and you drop your towel at the return and then forget to grab a new one. That was a bummer. Moving on into the Sky Lounge, we're now on deck 18 in the aft of the ship. And this is an adult only area. And sometimes when I get questions about adult only areas, people ask me, now is it 16 and up or 18 and up? 
Well, I think it's up to your interpretation because it just says adult only on the signs here. But this is an area where they have live music in the evening with a piano in the corner and serenading you. But I really enjoy this space for the views of the rest of the ship here during the day. Perhaps this is somewhere you might want to curl up, read a book. If you are done with getting all the sun and you just want to hang out. This is a lot of seating comfy area. So, but in the evening comes to life with the music, grabbing a drink at the bar and enjoying yourself in this lounge. Now we're here in Do Re Mi land. Get a load of this, all the fun for the kiddos. So first we have Do Re Mi lab where they have computers in there and they'll have different types of activities that are hosted by the kids club. So we can go in there during the certain times that they have available. On the opposite side here is the basketball court here, the gymnasium. So amazing floor to ceiling windows. I've seen this area come to life here with kids actually playing basketball, of course, and then also having the teen club parties and all actually ages were in there in the evening. This is a photo spot that my daughter has to take a photo every single time she walks by here. The Lego pals here, all made out of Legos actually, which is of course quite impressive. And Lego is actually one of the partnerships that MSC has. So inside all of the kids clubs, we're gonna see a lot of different Legos that they can play with throughout the different ages. And we're gonna show you all the different rooms in Do Re Mi Land from the baby club, the mini club, the junior club, the young club, and the teen club. So this is registration here where you can sign your kids up. You'll find fill out the waiver form, who can pick them up, who can let them out here in the different ages and things of that sort. Now, one thing to note though, if you are traveling with the youngest cruisers on board, they're gonna be in the baby club. There's specific hours for the baby club where you can have alongside play. And I'll go ahead and lift up on my website right here, all of the daily activities for the kids. So you can see that and make sure that you plan accordingly, especially if you have kids at different ages, you'll wanna know what's appropriate for them and where you'll be sending them. So I'll have that listed as well. And then if you don't have any kids, and you want to see all of the uh, daily schedules for the adults as well i'll pop these in here as well so you can check those out just open up the link in the description or head to my website alana zingano and you can see all of those to help plan your cruise vacation okay baby club under three so escorting your littlest cruisers on board here from zero to three you can join them everything is organized with a different type of stacking toys. And then there's a changing table, hand washing, uh, a mini sink as well. And then in here is a mini toilet as well. This is stuff you can sit on and you pull out and you can have these little blocks to watch the TV, maybe, maybe watch a movie. And then more on this side as well. So there's some art on the floor here and there's also an area over here that is a part of this so there's two kind of different sections here with more toys sometimes they have that door open which is just open to the hallway walking into do re mi land so this door is actually normally closed it separates the groups here so this is the one age group, but you can see in, and then now this group is from seven to 11 here. And now this is for a little bit of the older ones here, the play platform. We have, this is a dual sided table here. So we have some pool and you can flip it over, continue playing some of these boards to play movies, foosball as well, and then Legos. And I do confirm that they wash all of the Legos each night here. So I actually just saw them restock it here. And then uh, we have just like the cubbies for different games, coloring, arts and crafts, lots of different things. And then the TV for movies and games as well. Next is Young Club 12 to 14. So here in Young Club, we have 
some high top tables for them to hang out around, another TV for more games and movies, and looks like some pretty fun seating areas over here. So check this out, we have all these little cubbies. They're so cute, I love these. And over here is a foosball table. Check out the view they get. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. And then over here we have different type of games board games, taboo, lots of things. Oh, this one has a cruise ship on it. Oh, that's the MSC game. MSC Cruises, Do Re Mi the Merchant. This is the MSC Teens area here. So foosball, pool, ping pong, and Xboxes over here. These sliding doors open up and then you can see all the different games. Ticket to Ride, I love that one. I'm impressed to see they have that. That's a really good game. We always call it train game though. <laughs> and then there's um, these Lego bins here with more controllers, different games that they have. Really fun, they're setting up for the kids with all of the ping pong controls. Over here they have a chess with more games, fun area for the teens from 15 to 17. This is the Attic Club. Behind these doors here is the Teen Club. And the Attic Club is really an extension of the Kids Club where they can host extra parties here as well. Or you could reserve the Attic Club for your own personal space. Perhaps you're having a big birthday party, you're traveling with a big group for a big reunion or some sort. There's a DJ booth there, there's areas, there's a bar, fun stuff. So if you wanted to do that here as well, that's an option for you. And we're gonna head out onto outside to show you a bit more. So here is the Horizon Bar. Something to note about MSC is that every bar will have an espresso machine. You can see one back there. So if you're a coffee drinker, you're looking for an espresso martini, there you have it. And then also fresh pressed juice. Uh, gotta love that as well. So here we are in the very aft of the ship. This is a nice area for you to enjoy. Oh, we're currently in the smoking section in case anyone uh, is looking for those. They're posted out throughout the ship here, but there's a whirlpool here. And then just take a look at the views. Of course, being in port today, we're looking at MSC's private island marine reserve, Ocean Key here. So great views of the island back here as well. But lots of tiered different level seatings of this area. So you can sunbathe, enjoy, and then the pool back here. So the pool attendants will come around, the bar attendants will come around, take your drink orders, take care of you. And then we're looking back up onto the ropes course and where the aqua park was right above us over here. Inside on deck 18 is the sports bar here. We've just moved in from the Horizon Amphitheater and Pool. We're across from the basketball court here, the sports court. And this is where there's some quite a bit of hidden fun back here. We're looking directly at the F1 Formula Racing here, which is really cool. So guess what? If you have any status with MSC, your first ride is half off so that is some reasoning to go ahead and take advantage of status matching which i recently did and i think you guys should check that out too because i used my status from another cruise line to earn myself gold status here on msc and with that scored a half price ride i'll post all of the prices as well for all of the amusement fees here additionally they have more with flight simulator along with 4d cinema so in the 4d cinema you wear uh, 3d goggles or 4d goggles and these are some of the games here so zombies forbidden mind carnival you sit on a chair basically and it rotates and shakes and you have to shoot at the zombies or the other characters this flight simulator looks pretty intense here, completely locking you in. So if you enjoy that, and then we also have bowling as well. So it's a two lane bowling. Looks pretty cool here. I did see people play earlier in the cruise here. Uh, $30 for up to four people. So pretty good for some nice entertainment. 
fine, don't worry. You don't have to bring your own bowling shoes or your own bowling balls. They'll get you covered. That would weigh down your suitcase a lot, don't you think? And the one thing that I really liked about the F1 racing as we walk around here is the TV screen. So as I was watching Raphael do this, it actually, you could see how difficult it was and challenging as he was making the turns because those TV screens, when you do it, give you the live racing. So you can see when you crashed and burn out, you can see all of the action and kind of gives them a score, which is pretty darn cool. And speakers on this side as well. So you can hear what they're hearing with the track. And as we move out, we have a little bit of arcade games as well. And if you are interested in playing all of the amusement games, make sure to check out the Fun Pass, where they have different types of savings for giving you free play for those games. Now, this is the virtual arcade. Let's have a look. So here we have Air Hockey, Star Wars, Battle Pod, Showdown. This is the very forward of the ship, the Yacht Club pool. So all of the loungers are looking really plush. The pool here, there's a whirlpool in the corner, the padded seating. The view here is a little misty and dewy in the morning. But when it's not so misty, you can see through those windows. Like on the side of the ship, you can see through. These aren't frosted, it's just the morning dew. There's a smoking section on the corner of the area here where you can hang out. And these cabanas on the side here. So ultimate uh, privacy here. As you can see, how they really aren't facing anyone, just the ocean, just the water. So, I like this. Very private. Grab some lunch snacks at the grill and bar. Morning. Grill and bar here, convenient. So grab some bites throughout the day. And all the tables and chairs and shade as well for you to enjoy those and then more seating and of course there's bathrooms up here and then outdoor showers for you to cool off too the yacht club restaurant is where you can get breakfast so lots of seating in this restaurant here yacht club restaurant Now we have the MSC gym here. So we'll move on into and show you some of the fitness equipment if you're looking to work out while you are at sea. Something to note is that if you're ever looking to work out on a cruise is that you can always have a amazing view here. All of the sunlight coming in, all of the views of the rest of the ship here. Take a look at all the different types of equipment that they have here. The TV screens right in there, keep you entertained. Or you can people watch down out on the decks. So now on deck 15, we have the family and kids section of the buffet here. So really nice that they have this and actually, during the evening, this section of the buffet will be split off, cut off, because the kids club will come down and your kid can dine with all the other kids here in the buffet, which I think is super fun. My daughter did this twice and really enjoyed it. I find that they actually eat more when they're surrounded by their other little kid friends. They're encouraged to have a good appetite. All right, so here we are in the atmosphere pool. Not only is there two different bars on this pool area, but also all of this lounging. Ooh, we're having some nice stretching sessions right now, which is really nice. People all around are kind of getting in into it and the music's really nice and inviting for uh, a morning stretch here. And 
feel pretty good after that little light stretch there. Take a moment and stretch your thumbs. You know, you know what to do. Go ahead and stretch those thumbs and hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying this video. It helps out the YouTube algorithm to help other people see these videos so everyone can have a great vacation. So now we are in the snack section here. Care for some ice cream, anyone? And additionally, there is the Atmosphere Bar South, so you can grab some extra snacks for the pool. Enjoy yourself with some crunchy french fries. Deck 15, we've made it into the Bamboo Bar. So this bar has a retractable sunroof, which I really think is cool. It'll open up when the weather's nice, it'll close if it's cooler, if it starts raining here. So the theming is all bamboo, so you can see some bamboo plants over here. I enjoy this seating here. You can enjoy some of the views of the windows here, all of the chairs to hang out in, different types of tables, and of course they have the whirlpools. And this deck space here is two floors, so you can enjoy some uh, foosball upstairs, additional seating, some ping pong that's right above it as well, and all of the more quieter areas in a sense. They are playing music, but it's not as loud as the big pool deck. By the way, since we're in an elevator, it's worth noting that these are the biggest elevators I've ever seen. Have a look here, uh, a scooter and nearly a stroller can fit in here really easily. And I like that uh, 15 pool and buffet is labeled there. And they have been really fast. The other thing to note, though, is if you are in the Yacht Club, you can, can scan your key card there, and then you'll get priority service, which is pretty cool to get you a really fast elevator. Now, deck seven, we're going to head over to the spa. So this is the thermal spa here. So they have a Himalayan salt room that you can enjoy and then the different types of showers for a cold storm shower here's the cold storm shower which came on really fast when i touched it <laughs> they have the finish the sauna ice fall oh my goodness oh five degrees in here to the 10 degrees Celsius. Harmonic vibe. This room in particular is used for listening to the nice soft playing music, relaxing in the loungers, and rehydrating yourself. I like it. And then this right here is a shower tunnel. Currently it's not operating. They're working on it as we speak, uh, but it's from hot to cold or cold to hot, however way you wanna walk through it. So that's one that I would want to try and uh, push that hot way to cold. That looks really uh, awakening your senses for sure. Dark sensory steam bath. Oh, I like this. So there's two different sides of the thermal area here. The different showers around the middle there with all that stonework. Then the different rooms for the ice snow the sound rooms on this side as well nice area to relax that's for sure i like it on deck seven looking out onto galleria meraviglia this is really cool because this is an area where we have had a lot of different parties throughout the cruise but right now it's quiet we're getting the little spring summer flower vibes here really kind of a, a relaxing moment you can walk through and find all of the different shops and lounges throughout this area and we'll take you on through so on this side here we have the tv studio and bar so you can hang out in this space here a little bit of a nightlife a little bit of karaoke over here and have some game shows in this area as well. Comedy shows in this spot as well. Now we have the Brass Anchor Pub. This pub 
has live music in the evening. Enjoy some Guinness. Look at that. <laughs> Every day of the week. There you go. Uh, what they have on draft. Fun area. I enjoyed the uh, live music here throughout the cruise. Now this bright orange means we're coming up to the sushi bar. So here is one of the specialty dining restaurants here. We have Kaito Sushi along with Teppanyaki. So you can see that they have the chairs here along with the bar where they can make up some fun sushi creations for you. And in this area is where they have the Teppanyaki. So if you're looking to order and dine teppanyaki throughout your cruise, I encourage you to make those dining reservations early because as you can see, teppanyaki is uh, smaller, so it kind of fills up fast, especially if you're looking to enjoy this. And since we're at specialty dining, there's this convenient sign to explain some of the different offerings with pitcher's cut dinners and bubbles, carousel productions at sea. This is really fun um, because it's specific for the Maravilla here. Other ships don't necessarily have this, the carousel productions. So for $18, you get a drink and you get to see a special show. And then these shows are uh, House of Houdini or this one here is Arc Me, The Hidden World. So cool to check these out here. Perhaps you wanna get one of those packages or the dining package. As we look across the Galleria Meraviglia, we have Butcher's Cut, which is the signature steakhouse for MSC. And we'll take a closer look at that dining venue as well. But you can see how the restaurants are kinda of up top here of the Galleria, and this is where the fine dining is. Now we're at the champagne bar here. So if you're looking to enjoy some bubbly throughout your cruise you can do so on looking some views of the Savorsi crystal staircases the future cruise desk is also located in this corner here of this lounge and champagne bar and lounge so if you're looking to book a cruise while you're on board you can get some deals although if you don't have that opportunity because you're not on board yet don't worry, I got you covered. You can head on over to my website at alanazangano.com and I can get you squared away with a free cruise quote. My travel partners will help you out getting you some of the best deals and happy to answer your questions for your next cruise. By the way, it's free. Just like hitting the thumbs up button. Amazing. And Butcher's Cup is this awesome sign to explain the wine tasting experiences here so if you love red red obsessions or blonde ambition buy two wine tasting experiences and you'll save 15 percent so have a look at that if you want to immerse your senses into some bold flavors of taste testing some wines there you have it so butcher's cut on board here has the outdoor seating here leading out into the galleria but it also has indoor seating where you can see a little bit of a show kitchen and they're getting ready right now for dinner service so we won't disturb them too much here but a lot of fun tasty food that you can enjoy i always recommend the tomato soup and the mashed potatoes are really great good and of course the steak now on deck seven we have the casino here so walking on in the red and black which one are you gonna play on the blackjack so we have tables on this side here for poker different card games i like how open this is in the sense that you walk in and the casino bar is right here in the center separating all of the slot machines on the one side and then we have the table games on this side and then additionally a little bit more of the slots on this side as well but i find that that allows it to be a nice pathway to get through the casino you can easily see what games are where and if you're looking for any specific slot games 
you have all your options. Now we're here at Carousel Lounge. So this is a special venue because if you're looking to enjoy any of those extra entertainment venues, this is where it's going to be held. So let's take a look on this side here. What's nice is that we're getting to see this space during the day. So have a look at these giant floor to ceiling windows. Wow, that's impressive. Really cool. And then we have this big circular stage here. So really, really nice. I like this space. Wow, it's much bigger than I had anticipated. So really cool. So there's uh, tables in between the chairs because they do allow you to have your drinks in here and they provide the drinks with this show here. I'm definitely gonna have to check these out next time. So currently this ship is operating a seven and four day cruises. And that's the thing, this is a really big and beautiful ship. A four day cruise just isn't long enough. I'm kicking myself that I didn't get a chance to see this show means we're just going to have to come back and experience it. If you come on board and you recommend the show and you see it, let others know in the comments so that you can speak to the show if it was worth it for the $18 and getting a free drink as well. I'm going to have to come back for a seven day to explore it all. Well, Olive Dori restaurant here on deck number six. So if you're in the first seating at 630, this is where you will possibly dine here so this dining venue is nice there's some big porthole windows that you can enjoy they do have some larger tables as well and this is actually where my family is uh, seated they do have the high chairs that they provide for you so the youngest cruisers can dine at the table here so it's the pretty yellows and golds in this dining room for the theming and the standing room is on both sides here for the same seating. But if we continue walking on through, really pretty area here with all the wine bottles in the light fixtures here. Makes it really, really nice. But we're going to walk into the next dining room straight on through here. So this is Panorama Restaurant here. The first seating for this restaurant is a little bit earlier. It's 6 p.m. So if you want the earliest seating, 6, this is where you will dine. If you are also a Yacht Club guest or an Aria guest, this will also be your dining room. So have a look. It's a different vibe back here. We're in the very after the ship. So right now you can see it's, it seems a bit bigger since it's all one instead of being split up on two different sides but two different floor levels here so i believe yacht club is down in this section and aria is over here so really kind of nice as well and the main dining room food changes every evening so this dining room is for main dining if you are in Aria, you'll die in here. If you're just regular wanting the 6 p.m. seating, this is where you will die. And there's two different floors here separating kind of two different sections, but really nice aft views and portal. Nice large restaurant for sure. So this is the photo gallery here. So if you get any photos taken with professional photographers, you can actually tap your key card here and you can see your photos or you can go on what I like to call the hunt and see your printed photos up on the wall there, which is pretty cool to find. I feel like that's the old school, but it gives it a fun opportunity to see what they look like printed as well. And then tapping it there, they have the different packages to mix and match photos for $49.99. You can check it all out through the kiosk. This desk is also where they can help you with yeah, yeah. any of your internet needs as this is the info point here. So if you have any questions setting up your internet, they can do that for you here. If you're looking for any souvenirs, the MSC yeah. shop is right here with lots of goodies here. Oh, look at this little Del Rey me bag baby clothes huh in a weird bag I need is it a poncho I think it's a poncho 
<laughs> looks cute though uh, i see ship models back there i'm gonna have to definitely go in later and see inside for all of the goodies now not only is there the savorsi crystal stairs we also have the savorsi store so you're looking to get any nice fine jewelry they have that here this is also edge bar where you can grab yourself a beverage cocktails and an espresso in the morning it might be easy enough to grab yourself a drink here at this bar so right above us now on the Galleria Meraviglia, we looked at the sushi, tapanyaki, kaito, but now underneath here is more of the shopping. So we have the watches over over here, different stores. They have the event sales, so they'll pop up all the tables right in this section to have um, all the sales for the different type of designer bags and things of that sort. Crepes and Gelato is an upcharge. They open from 11 to 12 a.m. So definitely yummy with all of the smoothies and crepes and gelato over here as well. I'll have to show you when they open as well so you can see everything that they offer here. We additionally have the excursions task here. So if you're looking to have some fun, not only on the ship, but off the ship here. This is where you can have a look at what is offered. If you're going to Ocean Key, you can see all of that here, along with knowing what the port times are. And here's something that's important to note here is managing your onboard spending in your account here is the crude cruise activation point here. So this machine is pretty cool because not only does it take credit card, but it also takes cash and coins here. So if you want to settle your bill before the end of the cruise, perhaps with cash, you can do so here. Attach a different credit card for your onboard spending. Just see where you're at with your all of the spending and see the different transactions. You can do that right here, which is pretty cool. And you don't have to go to guest services to do that. So kind of possibly eliminates waiting in a long line. Now over here, this is where pretty darn cool if you have a sweet tooth chocolate lovers rejoice here as all these different options like oh my gosh look at the dried strawberries on that so some of this is themed for valentine's day as that is the nearest holiday as we can see but really really cute these would make some really fun souvenirs with the ship do re mi palm tree here this is 815 here in jean philippe So they additionally have macaroons. Wow, look at all the flavors here. So one macaroon is 225, box of four, 970, eight piece, 18, 20, 12 pieces, 26, 20. Oh, look how cute the little box is. Oh, and then you can fill them up with whatever flavors. I like that. Nice little souvenir to take on home. So when you miss the cruise afterwards and you wanna be back, there you have it. So this is also really nice here too because this is where we can select a coffee uh, a chocolate bar here so they're still opening but you can select the different ones and have messages written on them and i want to try this so there they're doing it right there they're selecting the toppings adding the different types of uh chocolates flavors to it and then voila add a message i love this i think this is super super cool uh for memory, one is 672 and a regular one is 624. So I'm gonna have to check those out. Those look really fun to have a personalized chocolate bar. And there's the prices for all the other chocolates as well for the different collection boxes. Pretty impressive piece of works here with all of this chocolate. Now, Ola Tacos and Cantina here. If you're a taco lover, not only can you eat your tacos, but you can get your Ola Tacos and Cantina shirt. <laughs> so this venue here is gonna where you're gonna wanna enjoy a pitcher of sangria, enjoy all of the flavors. Here you go, all the chili pepper guides here ranging from uh, medium to one of the hottest 
chilies in the world. Look at that. They have some really good margaritas as well with different flavors. So if you're interested in checking those out, they also have like daily specials of buy one, get one. And here's a look at the menu. So it's all you can eat for $17.99 a person here. Looks pretty darn good. Enchiladas, barbacoa, tamales. Mm -mm -mm. And here we have the Maravilla Bar and Lounge. This is where some of the nightly entertainment is going to be held with the live band. We also saw Majority Rules game show held in this area here, but nice little spot to enjoy. Uh, it's all with the action here, so people will sit, use this bar in case any of your parties are inside like ours were due to inclement weather here. So right here on Galleria Maravilla is where you'll find some of the nightly entertainment from the White Night Party to Sail Away, all of that fun going on right here. And this area just fills up for all of the attractions. Now we have Broadway Theater. So here in this theater, something to note that surprised me was that you're not allowed to bring any drinks in the theater. So uh, don't bring in any cocktails. Don't go buy a nice glass of wine and think that you're going to watch it during the show because they make you leave it outside. You can't bring it in. So you won't see any cup holders or drink trays in this theater as well. You will notice a very nice clean carpet because of that. So down in the theater here, you can see it really has a lot of seating in this venue here. We saw a couple different shows and it was full house for both. So make sure you come get yourself a seat early. This section here is where yacht club guests will sit. It's roped off, sectioned off for them. So if you are a yacht club uh, passenger, this is where you'll be seated. So you can know that the, this is a section for you and all of the shows that happen for the nightly entertainment. Waves restaurant is on deck five here. And this is a restaurant that actually will offer lunch throughout your cruise, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Quick lunch on a sea day. So perhaps you can dine in here as well throughout your cruise. Nice windows as well. So you can see the ocean as you're enjoying your meal. Saving the very best for last is a look at the Crystal Savorsi Crystal staircases here. So we're on deck five, which also has additional bars for you to enjoy and additionally guest services behind us here. I'm gonna give you a pro tip. Don't wait till the last day to look at your onboard spending here. You wanna get that taken care of ahead of because then you can avoid a line and enjoy your cruise vacation. Friends, I really hope you enjoyed this comprehensive forward to aft, top to bottom, starboard to port side ship tour here of the MSC Maravilla. Leave me your questions, comments down below. If you're looking to book your cruise vacation, visit my website at alamazagano.com. And until next time, ciao for now.